So today's gonna be a little bit different of a video. We're gonna branch out and do something a little bit, <clears throat> do something a little bit different. Um, <laughs> by the thumbnail and the title, you already you already know what I'm about to talk about today. But hey, I'm not even gonna drag it, drag it out. I can't speak over it. Without further ado, it's your boy Stuff. <laughs> so let's get on with the show. Yeah. Alright, so by the thumbnail and the title, you already know that I'm here to talk about the Swifties. Now, you may be asking yourself, Tishon, why the hell are you talking about the Swifties? I got bored. This video will either be very controversial, and I might get attacked, or you might agree with me, or it flops. I think it'll be the latter of the three, but we'll see what where it goes. But hey, enough about that, let's get into it. So I was scrolling on Twitter yesterday, and I came across a thread uh, by T Eternal Gabriel right here, and it was a thread about Swifties being shit people. And I was looking through some of the replies, and I thought it was one crazy. It's from what you expect from you know a post like this, right? And now nothing's wrong with the original post at all, right? I thought it was pretty funny myself. I'm personally not a Taylor Swift fan, and I had nothing against Taylor Swift or her fans specifically speaking, right? But like I said before, there's always, you know, a few bad apples in groups, right? And we found a few of the bad apples. Well, let's get into it. Thank God. We don't want robbery and violence in the era's tour. Why the fuck performing for black people became so important as, as we like it? No third world countries, people, insight, or illegal immigrants. So already, you already see, like, you know, why I'm talking about this. Because this is crazy. This is insane. Let, let's keep going. Good. That shit has 76 views. How many people viewed the word good? Thank God. Well, she's performing in a 70% white country and not Zimbabwe. Hope that helps. <laughs> what? The Swifties weren't racist? Go back to... Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? Is that... Am I going to get flagged for hate speech? I'm not the one saying it. I'm just repeating what I see. But yeah, y'all can already put together what that's going to say right there. So that you think you get to the bottom, and then here comes Gabriel with, and there are a lot more, right? So then let's go. Because you, I don't think I said that on YouTube. I'm black, if you couldn't tell. But I don't think I'll say that on YouTube. So yeah, because you, you know, are smelly. That's a lie, and we all know it's a lie, but let's keep going. Another no. one. Clock them. Exactly the same way police clocks them? This is in the USA, not Congo. Safest place in America. For who? From these tweets, not for black people. Cause they're broke and can't afford tickets. So, so I don't think it's that we can't afford tickets. It's because who the hell is paying damn near three thousand? At some points, three thousand dollars to go see Mitch. Who, who, who's doing that? Look at this, bro. Look at these prices. Two thousand hundred fifty-six. A little bit closer. Five thousand three hundred fifteen. You get. Right up front stage, 4875 First of all, I don't give a fuck who it is. I'm not about to pay anywhere past 500 to go see an artist at all. That's insane. I can just watch it on YouTube. Watch a live stream got me all the way screwed up. Are you bugging? Let's continue. Not our fault that they are broke. First of all, who is that? I got motion, twin. 99.9% .9 of us got motion, twin. Watch them out. And what about it? Take your... What? What even is this word right here? Can I show that on YouTube? Shout out to Dokkan Battle. Where is the flavor? Ew, keep it. <laughs> oh. Uh, um. Pretty sure I have to bleep those words out. So we're gonna do that. Wow. Black trans women like me and Megan the Stallion reclaim that word. Wait, so you're black. So as a black person, how do you not see it as an actual bad word? I know we do say it, but we really shouldn't be. <laughs> Thank God. Love. <laughs> this is pretty much a live reaction, dog. I haven't read this far down. What is this one? <laughs> yeah, nah. Um, Swifties have gone too far. Well, what are we supposed to do? They are on the sidewalks asking for money when they could sell their livers. 
like you can't make this up, bro. Like you, you really cannot make this up. At how crazy this is! Twitter is the most unhinged place on earth that doesn't promote. Well, I would say doesn't promote illegal stuff, but I feel like I've seen a lot of crazy shit on. I feel like Twitter is the most unhinged free app to have because YouTube isn't this bad. You know, you got Instagram real comments that you know tend to get a little bit crazy, just a tad bit crazy. Twitter. You'll find any and everything you're looking for, bro. Shout out Root Beer, a and uh, I'm not sponsored by them at all, but they're sort of real good. Just because you make like a statement that doesn't incline you to be racist towards a person or towards a group of people for that matter. Because what are we talking about? Being white makes someone a shit person? Where in his tweet did he, did he say that? He said Swifties being shit people a threat, and as we can see from the comments, they're being shit people. Okay. Now, disclaimer, this is not me saying every single Taylor Swift fan is an asshole. Obviously, I know not every single Taylor Swift fan is an asshole, but every Taylor Swift fan is part of a cult. And I stand by that. I stand by that. There's no way in hell you can sit here and tell me that. An artist like Taylor Swift, I'm not even saying her music is bad. I know I made a joke about her being mid earlier, but her music generally, I don't think it's actually that bad. Personally, you're never gonna hear me play some Taylor Swift in my car. That's just my personal preference. If y'all bash me over it, we might have to throw hands, right? But the way this woman has a tight chokehold on every white woman teenager in this world is crazy, in my opinion. Absolutely insane. I know we compare Drake and Taylor Swift all the time, but let's be real. Drake does not have the pull that Taylor Swift has. And I was, I'm personally a Drake fan, right? No, Drake is my favorite artist. There's no way in hell, there's no way in hell that we can sit here and act like they have the same pull because they don't. Taylor Swift has an astronomical pull, right? Which is, like I said, absolutely insane. Now, Taylor Swift fans, don't come bash me, please. I'm not saying all of you are bad at all. And I may be, um, asking for trouble making this video but hey you know i just wanted to go through uh that thread. i thought third was uh personally hilarious i have a very sick sense of humor not like sick sick but like you know yeah and i was looking through and i'm like huh video idea so that's what we did i am probably barking up the wrong tree is it the saying whatever it is but hey man Content is content, bruh. Y'all gotta understand, content is content. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, though. Hope you have a good morning, afternoon, good night, whenever you're watching this. Psych! Y'all thought I was finished. Y'all brought football into this, and now I'm coming back. Listen, for some of y'all who uh, don't, may not know, Travis Kelsey is uh, tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs, um, is dating Taylor Swift. I know I don't have a lot of, uh, well, no. I know I have a few uh, non-American viewers, and so, you know, Kansas City Chiefs, Chiefs, if you may not know, is part of uh, our National Football League, aka the NFL. Travis Kelsey plays with them. I'm sure you guys know who Taylor Swift is, though. I know she's huge worldwide, so yeah. I'm pretty sure worldwide she's huge. I could be wrong. I think she is, though. But yeah, they started dating, and there was stuff about, apparently, Travis Kelsey's ex-girlfriend, which, by the way, this woman right here is just beyond fine. Travis, don't get me wrong, Taylor Swift is very, very pretty. She's a very, very pretty woman, right? Just personally, my God, this woman is so fine. This woman is so fine. But back on track, right? No, she's so fine, right? She was sitting there saying, Swifties are aggressive, very negative, very hypocritical. It's really crazy to me that someone that I think is positive and really nice, such a negative and angry fan base. And that's truly the case where it's like, like I, like I said, you know, if you don't want to listen to me, then that, it's whatever, right? But no matter what you might think of me after this video, objectively speaking, Taylor Swift has a huge following. And the reason why people always talk about how negative her fan base is, is because when you have such a high volume of people following you, you're gonna have an even higher volume of people that are also, excuse me, I burped again, kind of negative in your fan base, right? If you have a hundred people in this group and a thousand in this group, in this a hundred people group, you might have like 
15 that are really bad people. Smaller group means a small percentage of the actual bad apples, right? But you have a thousand people in this group, you might get like 100, 200 people that are really bad apples. So even though they're both still a small percentage of the overall group, it's still a sense of there's still going to be a lot more, like a higher volume of people that are native in this group compared to the 100 people group. And that's the issue. Taylor Swift has such a huge, massive following that I feel like sometimes some Taylor Swift fans might feel like they're getting targeted a lot of the time. And that's not really essentially the case. But we see y'all, we see y'all bad apples more than we see other, Drake, for example. Drake is one of the, is probably arguably the biggest artist in the USA. Next, Taylor Swift, people like Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, stuff like that, right? But Taylor Swift, I'm pretty sure, has a way, way bigger following than Drake does. And with that being said, in Drake's 300 million followers, you might get four, five, six million. Wait, did I say 300 million or 3 million? Oh, uh, wait, whatever did I say? God damn it. Let's say in Drake's 300 million followers, you might get like 20, 30 million people that are like hella negative out of 300 million though, right? But then Taylor Swift, let's say she has like a billion. You might find like five, you might find, okay, not 500 million, of course, but like you might find like 100 mil, 200 mil maybe, of people who are actually like just assholes, right? Still a somewhat small percentage of their overall following, but it's still a lot more people that are negative in this following than compared to Drake's. And that's personally my take on it. Like I said, I really don't have any issue with Taylor Swift at all. And I have no problem with the Swifties at all either. Like, generally you don't. But it's one of those things where I feel like it does get out of hand. And as we see by the tweets and Travis Kelsey's ex-girlfriend receiving death threats and shit and people being asshole to her for just simply being his ex, it's kind of like, it makes you really think, well, what's wrong with some people? Huh? But yeah, now I'm officially finished. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you're having a good morning, good afternoon, good night, whenever you're watching this. I hope the Swifties don't come and attack me. If this video even does well, I hope the Swifties don't come and attack me. I love y'all. Uh, some of y'all are pretty bad people, though. But like I said, like I keep saying, every group has bad people. A lot of Drake fans are just annoying and bad people. A lot of Kendrick fans are annoying and bad. But every group has some bad people in them. It's just how it's going to be. We're humans. We're not. We're all fallible, right? But, yeah. Hope you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good night when you're watching this. And I will see y'all later. Peace.